There are more than 35,000 heart operations each year in the UK. For most of these operations, the surgeons need to stop the heart and use a heart-lung machine to keep blood pumping around the body. Every minute during open heart surgery, around 5 litres of blood is rerouted. The heart-lung machine takes the blood on a detour away from the heart and around the body. The problem is that during this process, some red blood cells are damaged in the heart-lung machine. The damaged cells can release substances containing iron into the bloodstream which help bacteria to thrive. This can increase the risk of infection. It can also create inflammation which damages the body's cells and could lead to kidney damage. As many as 25% of people who have heart surgery with a heart-lung machine develop kidney damage afterwards. This can result in long stays in intensive care. On average, patients with severe kidney damage spend 13 days on a dialysis machine. Hi. I'm Dr Gregory Quinlan. I'm one of the BHF funded researchers working to reduce patients' risk of complications from a heart-lung machine. We're creating a filter that looks a bit like a brush and which sits in a collection container outside the body. It has long fibres to maximise the surface area in contact with the blood as it passes from the container into the machine. This helps to clean as much blood as possible. On the surface of the filter there are three different substances whose molecules act like Velcro trapping any potentially harmful substances they come into contact with. This helps to reduce the risk of kidney damage and negative side effects and makes the blood safer when it's returned to the patient.